I'm Chek from SIT, Singapore Institute of Technology. And in this video, we're going to talk about the sprint review, which is the end of a sprint cycle. So in a sprint review, the most important thing when coming into the review meeting is to have a release or what is known as a shippable product. So what this means is that your product should be as usable as possible so that all the stakeholders can give meaningful feedback in this process. So in this sprint review process, a key task to be done is to decide each feature of the product, whether they can be deemed as completed or not. And how this is done is basically looking at the user story related to each and every feature and all the acceptance criteria that is on the user story that has been decided in the sprint planning. So for all, each one of these acceptance criteria, the team as a whole will decide whether they can be checked off. And once every single of this acceptance criteria can be checked off for a particular user story, then we can move this user story that has all the acceptance criteria checked into the completed column. And that is the gist of the sprint review process. So now we look at a video of a real software development project that we have done recently to look at how the sprint review process can be applied. Alright, so uh, welcome to the sprint review. This is the second sprint. So the sprint review meeting starts with the Scrum Master, which is me, as you can see here, hosting the review session, as with all other Scrum meetings. So the sprint review, it involves the most participants, as you can see all the people around the table here, as it is the review of the app itself. So in ideal circumstances, the stakeholders and the users would be able to play with the app. But in lots of real-world uh, sprint reviews like what we have here, it is done in sort of a presentation slash demo kind of a format by the developers due to time and other constraints. So in front of the table, you can see uh, the two developers as part of a development team here. I'm sitting right at the front because I'm sort of like the host. And then Kerbun, who is the product owner, is sitting beside me. And then we also have all the other stakeholders, including the director of the client team, and then the designers, one on each side, as well as a research professor who is using the app for research purposes. So after the Scrum Master has kicked off the meeting, the product owner then reminds everybody of the sprint goals. This is before the developers proceed to demo each one of the features. The review in general will be performed against the user stories agreed during the sprint review, which is what you are seeing on the presentation screen over here on this Jira software that we use to manage all the user stories. Developers will then demo the completed features one by one according to each one of the user stories and everyone will have an opportunity to give feedback around the table as the developers are demoing the features. So if this trade doesn't have some trick, right? Or it will be uh, affecting the main trade. And here we can see the product owner actually giving feedback about the feature that's being demoed on the screen right now. And the product owner will most likely be the most active as uh, he's sort of responsible for the user stories right from the start from the sprint planning. So in the sprint review as well, he will likely be the person who's going to regulate this process, showing each user story and determining whether each one of them can be completed with the views from the team. And next, you can see some action from the other stakeholders. For example, here you see one of the designer users actually giving feedback on the feature on the screen. Discussing in detail how this feature that is shown on the screen should exactly work. And this is an example of something that is key to the sprint review. As the discussion would lead to a decision on whether this uh, user story can actually be completed or not. As a key task to be performed is actually this. For every single user story to be evaluated by the team. And looking at each one of the acceptance criteria on the user stories and determining whether these user stories can be completed. So this process is usually uh, regulated by the product owner. So he will make the call after assessing all the feedback from the stakeholders. If there are any changes, then the product owner will actually note it down and use this information for the next sprint planning in the next sprint cycle. And so this will be repeated for every single user story. And once there is a decision made for every user story, the Scrum Master will actually declare the end of the review and then we will move to the sprint retrospective. 
So that was the sprint review from our perspective of a real software development project. In a nutshell, the sprint review is actually the whole team trying to evaluate the release or shippable product. So once the sprint review is done, normally the development team would stick around whilst the stakeholders and users would leave the room for the sprint retrospective to take place. And this sprint retrospective meeting will be covered in the next video.